Greetings Tankers! My name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, and an episode in which we will only feature the most standardist of ammo you will ever see in a World of Tanks video. So strap yourselves in, like, subscribe, comment, share, and of course, let's get straight into it! Wait, we recorded the wrong intro? This is not a full standard ammo, but a full prem ammo episode? Ah, oh, rats. Ah, I'm sure people will notice. Uh, anyway, we've got Astatos 9 in an AMBT on Abbey. Not leaving anything on the table at the start of this game, I like it. With great success! Showing this T-34-100 why getting out of your own spawn early is more or less essential. Ah, you know what I really hate? Players that will just proxy spot you and ruin your lovely spot without actually being able to do anything themselves. Doesn't that also grind your gears, comment section? Well, guess we've got to seek fun elsewhere. Ooh, look who it is! Ah, what a shame. Alright, that would be 4,700 damage dealt and... Four enemy tanks entrenched around the green base with the cap in progress. While the final ally is sent back to the garage. Thankfully this bulldog was more than happy to give us a clean decap. So, now if only these three remaining tanks would be kind enough to show up one by one. But now, every shell in the clip has been spent. Uh oh Heck yeah! This outcome was never in doubt! GG! A lovely game to kick off this episode, demonstrating that a carry doesn't always need to have flashy moments or massive drama. Astatos 9 simply played a faultless game, winning while facing off against four enemy tanks, all while dealing 6,919 damage, scoring 8 kills and 1,891 base experience. A result which we will commemorate with 2,000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Up next is Pretorius Mementos in the Iron Arnie, opting to engage the enemies in one of the most common noob traps in the game, the Lakeville 1-2 line. I mean, even as a top tier tank with a strong turret and good gun depression, would you really want to face the wrath of not one but two artillery pieces? on the tiger could prove costly in the end. Outplayed! Oh! Why, hello there! However, with another RT on our case, 
turned and enemy crossfire. Cap pressure doesn't seem to be a valid strat. Unlike desperately defending the friendly base, as yet again, we're facing cap pressure. Is that this VZ441 completely refused to help the ally. Well, now it gets to share the same fate. Although having yet another artillery plus three enemy tanks closing in definitely can't be described as a comfy situation. Crucial kill! Still, there's no rest for the wicked as for every second this M6 platoon is left standing, the arty gets to zero in on Pretoria's mementos. That was four enemies taken out all alone while simultaneously dodging incoming arty shells. So with just the GW Panther remaining, closing this game doesn't prove to be much of a challenge. GG! <laughs> that replay really went down to the wire. Pretorius Mementos had to give their all in order to come up with a victory. But so they did, earning both Pools and Kalabanov's medal in the process, dealing 8,225 damage with 10 kills and 2,133 base experience to top it all off. A great effort now rewarded with 2,500 gold and a best replay style. Congratulations! For the finale, we're bringing out the big guns. Hey, hey, snap out of it. We've got the very conveniently named Not Luck and No Skill in the Hori 3, the most recent TD addition to our beloved game. A tank that I can only describe as an oversized, turbocharged and upgun Ferdinand. Ideal for blasting away at unsuspecting enemies. Ah, uh, seems like the no luck part of the nickname was accurate. Thankfully, a very skillful 149mm AP shell at 100 meters does make up for the earlier mishap. Hmm, why do I get this weird feeling that any flank no luck and no skill is not at? ends up an unmitigated disaster. Uh oh That's not looking good! and no skill just destroyed the standard B, Yak Panzer 100, an STB-1 and that 268? That's just crazy! Oh ho! However, single Progetto 46 manages to do more damage to our hero than all of those tier 10 tanks a moment ago. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me! No skill? Yeah, right! Huh? That wasn't a hit? What? What is going on? Finally! That must have been some of the worst RNG I've ever seen. Now, if only R and Jesus' blessing would shine down on no luck and no skill for the next six minutes as they deal with double RT. Nope. Oh, you can't be serious. Phew, thankfully that one didn't miss. But after three full minutes of diligent searching, uh, this happens. All right, how hard can this be? This is some kind of a joke, right? Ah, oh, finally! What a game that was! I have never seen a nickname be so true to what happened in this replay. No luck and no skill, please never change it. Some of those misses we would happily feature on worst replays if not for Kalabanov's, Pascucci's and Poole's medals. Oh yeah, and 8,454 damage, 10 kills, 1,480 base experience, plus one heck of a last stand which makes this replay the best of the week. Thus, no luck and no skill shall receive 3,000 gold, a best replay style and the title of best replay. Congratulations. And with that, our ways must part, dear viewers. Still, what a replay to end it all off. I'll have to re-watch that one as soon as I get off air. But if you'd like us to watch your replay as well, make sure to submit it through our official Discord server. Not just the best, but even your worst replays. We love to watch those too. Well, sort of. Because next week it might just be you starring on our show. And finally, I'm Adam Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!